On special segment tonight, the rock and roll singer they call the boss, Bruce Springsteen. His tour this summer has been the stuff of rock music legends. In New York, he set the record for one-day ticket sales. But as Ann Rubenstein reports, his message is simple. It's born in the USA. Are you ready, people? It wasn't even 10 years ago, Bruce Springsteen and his E Street Band played an auditorium that had 6,000 seats and only 300 people came to listen. Even though he had a loyal following, Springsteen's earliest records weren't exactly chart breakers. But his last two albums have changed all that. And now Springsteen is the biggest show on the road. But all he kept talking Today, Springsteen sells 13 million albums, sells out stadiums almost faster than you can say his name or his nickname. He's my boss, so I call him boss. Max Weinberg has been Springsteen's drummer for 11 years and got the job by answering a newspaper ad. Well, that's the thrill of my life, uh, having that seat in a stadium. I mean, it's, it's, it's a 50 yard line as far as I'm concerned. He's the hardest working person I ever met in my life. And he's very entertaining. I get a tremendous kick out of watching him. I'm talking like I'm old. I'm 35 now. Anybody out there old as me? Hey, all right, all right. My there are lots of people his age at the concerts. Springsteen's songs are about unemployment, unrealized dreams, real life issues. Springsteen offers us, uh, offers kids an opportunity to identify with someone who's not a drug addict who's not uh, pitching drinking all the time who's not writing you know sexist songs or anything he's, do he's doing what your parents might call good things but he's not wimpy about it i know that bruce had uh charisma when he performs that nobody else has ever had 13 years ago john hammond discovered springsteen he also discovered bob dylan and billy holiday he signed springsteen to a contract in less than a day Springsteen doesn't give interviews, but delivers explosive four-hour concerts with no opening acts and reasonable ticket prices. He is charitable and concerned. We all got to be vigilant because with countries just like with people, it's easy to let the best of yourself slip away. He's got a big home in Rumson, New Jersey now, but Bruce Springsteen grew up poor on one side of this house in Freehold, New Jersey. When he moved to nearby Asbury Park, Springsteen spent a lot of time on the boardwalk playing his guitar. Greetings from Asbury Park is one of his album titles. People around Asbury Park said they love Bruce Springsteen because he never forgot them or that he came from here. In several songs, Springsteen mentions some of those people and places. In one song, he wrote about Madame Marie, the boardwalk fortune teller. I felt he'd done me a very nice honor and that he remembered me that he could put me in one of his songs. And I felt it was nice. It was very good for business. The Dull Brothers are playing on one stage where Springsteen started. It's the Stone Pony Bar where he still drops in. To know Bruce over all the years, it's remarkable because he doesn't change. I mean, with all the fame and money and as big as he's gotten, he still comes to the Pony with his, you know, T-shirt and jeans and his, you know, pickup truck. as his drummer knows, has waited years and worked hard to build this. He played every dive and joint in New Jersey. And to play Giant Stadium is really a dream come true. He could have closed his United States tour anywhere. Springsteen chose to come home. And Rubenstein, NBC News, New Jersey. That's NBC Nightly News for Wednesday. I'm Roger Mudd in New York. Good night.